In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO32 plus CaCl2. This is lead to nitrate plus calcium chloride. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. The nice thing is, this is already balanced, so we're done there. Next, we write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So this is going to be AQ. Aqueous, it'll dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Chlorides, also very soluble, AQ, with the exception of lead to chloride. This is an exception to the chlorides. It's slightly soluble. That means very little bit will dissolve. So for net ionic equations, we say it's insoluble. It won't dissolve. And when these two react, it forms this solid here. It is a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. So this is going to be a solid. Nitrates, again, very soluble. We have the states. Now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we can't tell lead, that's a transition metal. But we do know the entire nitrate ion, good one to remember, is 1 minus. Since we have two of them, this has to be 2 plus. So we have the lead 2 ion, Pb2 plus. I'll write the states later. Let's not do that now. Plus, we have two of these nitrate ions here. So two nitrate ions. Calcium is in group 2 on the periodic table, so it's 2 plus chloride ion, 1 minus. So we have the calcium ion, and then we have two of these chloride ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, when we do net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. We keep them together. So PbCl2, that stays together. And then we said 2 plus and minus for the nitrate. So we have the calcium ion, just like in the reactants, plus we have two nitrates, also just like in the reactants. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. We have our reactants and our products. So here are those two nitrate ions we saw before and in the products here. These are spectator ions, so we can cross those out. In the reactants here, we have the calcium ion and in the products. So we can cross these out. They're spectator ions as well. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for PbNO32 plus CaCl2. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead to nitrate plus calcium chloride. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 plus here, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So the total net charge here is 0. Same on this side, neutral compound, net charge is 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO32 plus CaCl2, led to nitrate plus calcium chloride. Thanks for watching.